According to the Wall Street Journal, Russian intelligence agencies have mounted a campaign to undermine confidence in Western vaccines from the likes of Pfizer and others using online publications that in recent months have questioned the vaccine's development and safety. What should we be watching for as consumers? We're joined now by Paul Siegert, managing partner at PCS Advisors, an employee health care benefits consulting firm based in Northern California. He has also previously served as a trained Russian intelligence analyst in the U.S. Army. Paul, how do you see it? It's important to keep in mind they are our global com- competitors, uh, for sure, and they have an interest in sowing kind of misinformation and spreading misinformation in lots of areas, and right now they are doing that. Uh, it appears they're doing that with the vaccine, the vaccination efforts. All right, so they have their own Sputnik Five vaccine, as it's called. Um, what is it that they're trying to do to our vaccines, whether it's from Pfizer, Moderna, J and J? I mean, specifically, what are they doing to try to undermine our efforts? Well, they've got a few of their different agencies that all kind of link back to their intelligence arm have media outlets that are essentially made up media outlets or that appear to be media outlets when people do searches online, uh, New Eastern Outlook, Oriental Review, News Front, and Rebel Inside are the names, and they, they kind of host them out of different countries around the world that are friendly to them, and then they'll put misinformation out there or disinformation, and what they're doing in this case is trying to increase the level of or the lack of confidence that some some of us have in these vaccines and their safety and uh, really just confirm fears that people have that they were rushed to market, that people are having bad reactions, that they're uh, they're not safe, they're not healthy, they're not effective. Mm-hmm. And they're doing that for, I think, multiple reasons. One is any, any instability they can create in a competitor, they're interested in doing that. And then also, as you mentioned, they've got the Sputnik V that, according to the Lancet's own some research that was published in the Lancet, and it's 91% effective and without side effects. So they've got a, com- a competing product they'd like to sell around the world. Right. How do these uh, news sites show up that the Russians have created? They come up with a Google search, they show up on Facebook? I've, no, I've never heard of them. Yeah, they do. And then what happens is they'll get syndicated. So they might. it might be that another another site will grab an article that they put out there and republish it and before you know it you've got this inaccurate information around the web that can be found and getting it's getting reposted essentially and that's their goal we're speaking with paul siegert managing partner with pcs advisors he's also a former russian intelligence analyst with the u.s army we're talking about (laughs) russia's efforts to discourage americans from being vaccinated so what what should we be looking for then as consumers to make sure we're reading and researching legitimate stuff? Well, I I tell you, in in our research, we stick to well-known sources, uh, and that, you know, CDC would be a a starting point, and and places like that. We've got, and and places you know are reputable. I mean, the fact of the matter is our FDA and our agencies did not rush this process, and it was done completely. There was, you may recall, there was even some angst about from the former administration about why the UK beat us in approving the Pfizer vaccine, and that was because it had to go through its full process here. Mm-hmm. And we've got to do a better job, I think, of educating people to that to that fact. But we we're in the middle of the pack in in the percentage of our population that will strongly agree to take the vaccine, and Russia's at the very bottom. Uh, so. There's some issue there. They've only they were first to market with their vaccine, but they've only got three and a half percent of their population that have gotten one shot. We're at 17, UK's at 32, so they're dealing with that as well. I think which could also be motivating them to try and uh, slow others down in the process. But I would stick to very well-known sources, CDC, NIH, other stuff that you know is from a reputable source. Thanks, Paul. Paul Siegert from PCS Advisors, also a trained Russian intelligence analyst.